Hey everyone, I'm Rick Beato. On today's episode, I'm gonna count down my top 40 greatest sounding albums of all time. Now, why am I doing 40? Because I couldn't really narrow it down. Now, when I say greatest sounding, these are not just great records, they're great sounding, incredibly well recorded records. These are records that if I go into a new stereo shop and I wanna try something out, or if I get some new studio monitors, or if I get a new car and I wanna to listen to stereo, I'll put on one of these songs or I'll scan through and make a playlist with them and listen to them. But really any of the songs from any of these records are phenomenally great sound. Song number 40 is from a record that came out in 2006 called Till the Sun Turns Black. It's by Ray LaMontagne and it's beautiful. <laughs> Song number 39 was released in the mid-90s. It's off Doyle Bramhall II's self-titled. This is the day I never Sounds amazing. Song number 38 has Ron Carter playing bass on it, and it's by a tribe called Quest. This is from Low End Theory. Succeed and achieve at 21, just like Ringling Brothers, our days in a sound. Captivate the mass because the pros is profound. Do it for the strong, we do it for the meek. Booming in your booming in your booming in your Jeep, or your Honda, or your Beamer, or your Legend, or your Benz. The rave of the town to your foes and your friends. So. Song number 37 is off David Bowie's, one of his last records, his second to last record. This song is called Valentine's Day. It sounds phenomenal. The whole record is great. Valentine told me who's to go. Coming in at number 36 is a song by Fiona Apple. Check out the snare. Song number 35 was released in the early 90s. This is really a classic song and a great sounding record. It has one of the best vocal sounds on it. Cause I can't make you love me if you don't. You can't make your heart feel wow. something. Song number 34 is from a 2010 album by the band Carnivool. The record's called Sound Awake, and it's one of the greatest sounding albums you'll hear for heavy rock. Check it out. Coming in at number 33, this is by Jay Z. It's never been a nigga this good, but it's long. This hood, it's the black this pop, album. this hot, or this strong. With so many different flows, this one's for this song. The next one I switch up, this one will get bit up. These fucks too lazy to make up shit. They crazy, they don't paint pictures, they just trace me. You know what? Soon they forget where they club. They hold style from the try to reverse the outcome. I'm like, I'm not. Song number 32 is by Tears for Fears. Songs from the Big Chair. Song number 31 is a classic new metal record, and it's my favorite sounding new metal record. The mix of this is just massive. The production, everything, the whole record is amazing. It's easier to run,
Song number 30 is produced by Blake Mills. Song number 29 is called Jacksonville by Sufjan Stevens. I lost my sight and the state packs in. I follow my heart and it leads me right to Jackson. Song number 28 is off the Fumbling Towards Ecstasy album by Sarah McLaughlin. Coming in at number 27, this song is off Jellyfish's Spilt Milk Record. Song number 26 I've featured in a bunch of videos because there's so many great drum fills and guitar solos and things like that in it, but it's a killer sounding song off a killer sounding record, Gino Vanelli. Coming in at number 25, this record is from one of Atlanta's finest bands. This is Outkast. Okay, I started out alone because my baby mama left me now. There's nobody at home. Beginning to feel like Mrs. Jackson done got thrown With this some real shit and I'm living it through this song I'm moving vehicle to my family as I slept out on the sofa in the boom 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 I woke up very upset I throw the covers back and peep out through the draperies My daughter, my baby, my baby mama on his head Song number 24 is off a greatest hits record which came out in 1975 I believe This is Chicago, Saturday in the Park Song number 23 came out, I believe, last year by the pianist Brad Meldow. And this particular song off the record is a cover, and you might recognize it. Song number 22 is a reference song that I've used for years and years. Really, any song off this record sounds amazing. This is Soundgarden. Off of Super Unknown. Limo Wreck. Song number 21 sounds as good today as it sounded when I was in college. Can choose from phantom fears and kindness that can kill. I will choose a bad past fear. I will choose free will. Coming in number 20, this song is off one of the most classic hip hop records of all time. I lost the by Dr. Dre. When visited niggas in the hospital. It's all the same shit all across the globe. I just sit back and watch the show. Watch everywhere that I go. Ain't the same as before. Watch people I used to know. Just don't know me no more. 
Song number 19 is a song that I've actually done a breakdown on one of my What Makes This Song Great videos. It's one of my favorites. Song number 18, this entire record really set a new standard for what heavy rock should sound like. It was completely fresh and still sounds fresh here 45 years later. Song number 17 is always one of my favorite listening records. I put this thing on probably at least once every couple months and listen through the entire record. It's just so great to listen to. In your sweet they may show And the on the ground Friday in slumber, empty of sound Coming in at number 16, this song is off the Rolling Stones' Let It Bleed record. You all know this. Song number 15 is from a record released in the early 90s. I love this entire record and it sounds phenomenal. This is Tori Amos. What if I'm a mermaid in these jeans of his with a name still on it? Hey, but I don't care because sometimes I said sometimes I hear my voice and it's been he. Song number 14 is off Robert Plant's Band of Joy record. It's just a beautiful record to listen to. It sounds phenomenal. Song number 13 is from a record released in 2000. This is Radiohead's finest sounding record, I think. Coming in at number 12, this record is a classic record for sounding great. It, this is Boston. Coming in at number 11, it's kind of unfair with uh, classical albums or movie film scores because they just sound better really than any other kind of records. Just it's all professional playing and everything, but this record just sounds outstanding. This is John Williams with Yo-Yo Ma and Yitzhak Perlman. It's from the uh, Memoirs of a Geisha soundtrack. Okay, we're finally down to the top 10. This record came out in 1986, I believe. It was produced by Daniel Lanois. Peter Gabriel, Sledgehammer. 
incredible sounding record. You could have a steam train If you don't slay down your tracks You could have a Song number nine, I did a breakdown of. I knew it was incredibly well recorded, but when you listen to the tracks isolated, it just takes on a whole nother dimension. This is Kiss from a Rose by Seal, produced by Trevor Horn. Song number eight is also from a soundtrack. I interviewed the composer recently and all of his soundtracks sound amazing. I just picked this one. I just love the sound of it. This is Thomas Newman from Finding Nemo. Song number seven is off a classic record that pretty much everyone would agree will be on this list or should be on this the list. The is on the grass. The lunatic is on the grass. Remembering games and daisy chains and laughs. Got to keep the loop. Song number six is from a classic record that I've never talked about on my channel. And the reason I've never talked about it is I'm not sure I can play it, but I'm going to try it. I may have to cut it out. But this is off Pet Sounds by the Beach Boys. If you should ever leave me, will life still go on? Believe me, the world could show nothing to me. So what good would living do me? God only knows what I'd be without you. Okay, we're now down to the top five. This list really isn't about the order. It's actually just about these particular records that these come from, the albums. It's really an album uh, video that I'm talking about individual songs. This song is off Night at the Opera. <laughs> one of Brian's songs. Song number four is from a record that many people use to tune their sound systems and have since the 70s. It's actually this record or the record that followed it or Donald Fagan's solo record, Nightfly. All these three records, but this is off of Asia, Steely Dan. <laughs> Coming in at number three, this is from Stevie Wonder's Songs in the Key of Life. It's a song called I Wish. In my only worry was for Christmas, what would Amazing. be my door? Even though we sometimes would not get a thing, we were happy with the joy the day would bring. Sneaking out the back door, hang out with those good lump friends of mine. 
Song number two is from the Court and Spark album by Joni Mitchell. Every song is amazing on this, like all of her records. He was playing on the sidewalk for passing change When something strange happened, glory train passed through him So he breathed the coins he made in people's park And we're looking for a woman to court and spark Okay, I have a few honorable mentions. These are songs that I would have put on my list or albums that I cannot actually play on here. I know we'll block, get the video blocked. And here are some of my honorable mentions. We have The Beatles Revolver. We have Prince, Purple Rain, ACDC Back in Black, Led Zeppelin IV, Keith Jarrett, pretty much every record. I put Spirits on here, but any Keith Jarrett record is amazing. Marvin Gaye, What's Going On, all those records are records I would use to test out my stereo or a new set of speakers or a huge sound system. These are all amazing records. Coming in at number one, this is probably... They say that the most falling in beautifully love recorded record ever is wonderful. John Coltrane and Johnny Hartman. So wonderful. The songs called They Say It's Wonderful. So they say. Treat yourself to listening to that entire record. It is absolutely astoundingly beautiful. John Coltrane and Johnny Herman, one of the finest recordings ever. That's my list. Love to know your thoughts. I know it's a long video and that's a lot of music, but want to know what you think I left off. I know that there's other incredibly great sounding records. Let me hear what your list is. Put it in the comments and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching.